How do you get to the Northwest, Northwest Suburban Community Center? That's why I got lost. He says, sometimes my son-in-law takes me. I says, forget that. I says, how do you get to 90? He says, no, he read me. I says, no, I'm 90. He says, me too. I says, you're 90? I said, wow. I says, I said, what do you attribute old age to? He said, I was born a long time ago. Not only that, he says, I went out with a 21-year-old girl the other night. She slapped me in the face three times. I said, why, did you get fresh with her? He says, no, she thought I was dead. <laughs> then he started talking about newspapers. I read a lot of things in the newspaper. He says, you know, there's no Mexicans in the Olympics this year. I says, how come? He says, anybody can run, jump, or swim already left that country. <laughs> no, yeah, he says, you know, they're changing President's Day next year. I says, really? He says, yes. It's next year they're going to do it differently. Instead of the way we normally celebrate it, Obama's going to come out of the White House, and if he sees a shadow, it'll be six more weeks of unemployment. <laughs> Actually, folks, I don't know the political jokes. I've seen too many of them get elected. <laughs> anyway, this guy dies and goes to heaven, see? And he gets up there and he sees all these clocks, thousands and thousands of clocks. He says to St. Peter, what are these clocks for? He says, well, I'll tell you. He says, uh, he says, each clock represents a human being on earth. Every time you tell a lie, the hands move one time. He says, no. He says, uh, for instance, that clock would have Mother Teresa's clock. The hands never move. She never told a lie. Same thing with George Washington. Abraham Lincoln's clock. The hands only move one time. He said, where's the president's clock? He says, in God's office. He's using it as a ceiling fan. <laughs> Stop telling uh, President Obama jokes because the IRS is liable to audit me, so I'm going to tell him. <laughs> anyway, they put me in a good motel and, uh, uh, the other day. Uh, it was great. This motel was so bad they stole my towels. You know what I mean? It was terrible. <laughs> in fact, the elevator didn't work. It had to, if you want to reach the fifth floor in the elevator, push the three and the two. What is that? <laughs> the maid knocked on my door this morning. She says, Sir, can I come in to clean up? I said, Sure, come on in. She came in, she took a shower, and she left. <laughs> There was an older couple next to me, you could hear right through the paper thin walls, you know. He was coming out of the bathroom. She said, Did you remember to brush your teeth? He says, Yeah, and I brushed yours too. <laughs> and that was a dangerous area too. I was jogging, you know, I went jogging one night and, and a guy comes around. He says, Sir, hey, buddy, 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 do you see any cops around? I says, No. He says, Stick them up. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, mean, I was reading about, you know, I read things in the paper too. I, I read in the paper that obesity is so bad in this country that two out of four people have become four out of five people. <laughs> so you know, I wanted to do something about it, so I went on this diet. I went to the store, I bought this cereal. It had half, half the fat, half the calories, and half the sugar. I went home, I opened the box, it was half empty. <laughs> then I decided to go to the gym to work out. I had all these kind of machines, elliptical machines, jogging machines, rowing machines. So I asked the, the, the what do you call the guy who works here? I said, what is it? The trainer, right? I says, what machine do you recommend I use to attract that beautiful young girl over there? He says, try the ATM in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you about my neighbor, too. I got a neighbor from down south. His name is Jethro. He moved next door to me and he says, hey, Joe, he says, you know, uh, I'm going on vacation this year. He says, I said, really? I says, where are you going? He says, San Jose. I said, San Jose? I said, California? He says, yeah. I said, no, they, won't, they don't pronounce the J. It's San Jose. Oh, I see. I says, uh, when are you going? I said, I don't know. You live your life. But this guy, this guy says, you know, he says, I went on vacation just three years ago, and when I went there, I went to California then, he says, and Emily got pregnant. Then I went to Miami Beach, and Emily got pregnant again the next year. And last year, I went to Niagara Falls, and Emily got pregnant the third time. He said, well, I'm doing different this year. I said, what are you doing different? He says, I'm taking Emily with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. <laughs> this, this little girl went to see her father, grandfather in the hospital, and he was, you know, pretty well sick, and he was dying. So she says, "Grandpa, Grandpa, can you make a noise like a frog?" He says, "Why on earth you want me to do that, honey?" Because Grandma says, "When you croak, we're going to Disney World." 